howdy and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin, welcome. And today I'm gonna be doing a palette bingo with this guy. This is my Mardi Gras palette. It is a dupe of the Love Tahiti palette by BH. Be Perfect, that's it, Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna be basically randomly selecting five shades from this palette and I'm gonna be trying to do an eye look with them. So I did this challenge with my Carnival XL Pro maybe like a month ago and we made such a beautiful look. You guys really enjoyed it. So I thought, you know what? Why not do the same video with kind of a carnival palette? Not really, but I mean, it's a dupe of a carnival palette. So I'm really, really excited. Um, as you can probably see, there's a lot of like warmer tones. So I feel like we could get a kind of cohesive color story from this. We were really, really lucky in the last video that we did. We got perfect colors to go together, but maybe this one will be a little bit more challenging. Who knows? But before we jump into this video, if you have not already, please like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. It always does. Every single new subscriber just means so much. And I'm just so happy that you're here watching me today. All right, without further ado, let's get the random generator up. I have the Pretty Random app. There are 40 shades in this palette, so let's go. Shade number one will be 26. Okay, shade 26 is this shimmery pink, which is called Volto. This is what it looks like swatched. It's got a little bit of a blueness to it, I think. So that could be good. It's very light, maybe an inner corner. Shade number two is so scary. Oh, number two. Okay. That's going to be interesting. That's the shade Emerald. It is like a murky mid-tone green. That is what they look like swatched. So we've got some contrast so far. Shade number three is number 14. That is Venux Carry. I don't know. I'm dyslexic. But it's this kind of more warm, neutral brown. I don't think I've actually used this, so that could be fun. Okay, I am a little bit nervous. So that is what we're looking like. Very earthy so far, I'm liking it. Shade number four is 27, which is the shade Jammin, which is this raspberry matte pink shade. So that is what this looks like. And we've got one more shade. Look at that, that is very pigmented. Oof, okay. So yeah, this is what we're looking like, okay. And then our final shade is 23, which is this shade Flambeau, Flambeau? I don't know, this red. So, right, okay, let's swatch this. Let's see our color story. Okay, this is the color story that we are looking at right now. I am gonna let myself add a black, I think, just because technically black's not a color, so I can. <laughs> I am going to, I don't know if I'm gonna go off camera and do one eye first and then come back and do the other eye, um, but I'm gonna have a little bit of a, a think and see what I can do with this color story because I'm kind of scared. I will be back in two ticks. Okay, so I've decided against doing like a tester on my eye. I'm just gonna go in blind. And I know that this shade wasn't rolled, but I am gonna go in with the black because I'm a cheat. That's why. I just think that if I did this without the black, it wouldn't be as dramatic and I have a specific vision, okay? I want it to be dramatic, I want it to be big, I want it to be bold, so I'm doing it. You can't stop me. Okay, so I have, of course, very messily taken it out because you guessed it, it's gonna be a winged look. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and like buff around the edges a little bit because don't really want to spend 30 minutes trying to blend these colors together. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with that brown that we pulled. So this is the first shade 
from our rotation that we are using and I'm gonna start popping that on top of the black. Okay, I was scared that this shade would be too light to blend into a black, but it seems to be working quite well, so that's nice. This palette is so good, and I always forget to use it, because it's just so big that the only place it'll fit in my drawers is like right at the back. But yeah, this palette was included in a video I did about a month ago, maybe two months ago now, and it was palettes that I haven't used this year and I had not touched this palette for like the first six months of the year so I thought you know what I am going to make sure that this palette gets some love so I've been trying to do some videos around it trying to reach for it and I have not regretted it in the slightest okay now we're going to go in with emerald I'm hoping this blends okay I think it's a little tricky but with some work i think it will i think it'll work okay so we've got a very shrek um ogre look kind of happening right now i love it i think it's very cool it's very grungy but i'm a little bit worried how the other shades are going to fit i'm sure it'd be fine it'll be fine just keep going you know okay so we've got two beautiful swampy shrek eyes on um, I'm gonna go off camera, cut my crease. I'm a little bit nervous um, because we've got very bright shades left and yeah, I'm just a little bit, a little bit nervous, but we can do it, it's okay. So I'm gonna go off camera, like I said, maybe do like a fun cut crease, but I don't know, I don't know. We'll see, I'll see what I do. I may just come back with a normal cut crease. So, I will see you in a minute. I, I got a good feeling about this. Okay. Oh my God, it goes on my nails as well. Oh, the universe, the universe is coming together. Okay, I'll see you in a tick. All right, cut crease accomplished. Here we go. I just did a normal one in the end. So now we're gonna go in with the matte red and you guys probably already know where this is going, but we are going to start patting this right on the outer part of the cut crease. I really don't know if my vision's gonna work here, but um, you know what, we can, we can try, okay? We can give it a go. I always get quite nervous doing matte cut creases because they never seem to go to plan for me. I don't really know why, so cross your fingers, okay? All right, now we're gonna go in with Janin, which is more of a pink, and put that next to the red. Yeah, those colors look pretty much identical next to each other, but that's fine. Okay, this is what we're looking like right now. Um, it's, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It needs some blending work, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna, clean this up do my base and then come back i think and then we'll do the lower lash line maybe add some gems a bit of sparkle um and yeah and then i'll be i'll be back in a minute when this is all covered up <laughs> see you in a sec okay so we are back with the finished look this is how it turned out i think it's really cool it reminds me of like red wine I don't know, that might just be, uh, might just be me, but I'm feeling cool, like a matte look with glitter. This glitter liner is actually the model's own, all the writing is rubbed off, but this was one of those products that you know when you're like going through your declutter pile and you're like, one day I will do a look and then three years later it comes in handy. Yep, this is this, this is why I kept this for this specific reason and this specific look. So here you go. I did end up using, what is the shade? Volto, this like shimmery pink on the inner corners. So I have used that, I've not cheated. I'm not cheating, thank you very much. And yeah, this is the look. Very dramatic, very grungy I feel. I feel quite grunge, which is nice. And I also realized that my fairy lights have not been on this whole video, which is really fun, really nice, yeah. 
good to just remember that. So this is where I am ending this video guys. If you did enjoy it please like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I'm so glad that I got some more use out of this bad boy because it's been pretty neglected this year I'm not gonna lie but hopefully I can use it a little bit more before the year ends. Please stay safe, have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!